there are actually two worms. I've never seen two worms inside an eye. I want to see if I can see two tails. It looked like two worms. I think they're two worms. Right, let's see. Hmm. घोड़ा उतरव पटापट चालू हो So I'll take this. Should be fine. Okay, so I'm sedating him with 120 milligrams of xylazine and uh, uh, six milligrams of butorphanol. So this horse is here for a um, for a eye worm removal. And if you can see that there is a basically a a worm inside his eye. really motile isn't he mm motile nice, nice motile one yeah. mm. but there's quite a lot of uvitis mm. and he is turning yellow no he is vision you want the auricular palpable yes okay and the supra orbital yes okay cursor cursor ek munga ka bandosh kar munga likh munga Just wait a second. Maybe I need to give him more sedation. No, it's okay. It's just very early, no? So we're not mm. done yet. So he's giving um, the horse all these blocks just so that he doesn't move his eyelids, and you know, it's just basically making him very sedated. So what I've done over here, yeah, mm. yeah. What I've done here is I've mm. given him a block which which will knock out the the eyelid, so you can see I can move the eyelid. without there being any mm. sense any their motor. eyelids are very very strong yeah. so the motor the motor function of the eyelid is is blocked by the auricular palpable mm -hmm. i'm also going to give him a supra orbital block which will take care of all the sensation so now I'm, this is a local anesthetic again just putting it on the surface of his eye so that he won't feel any pain when we I'll show you how the worms look like so if you can see those worms there are actually two worms I've never seen two worms inside a eye this is the first time that I'm seeing two worms or is it one one big no, worm no i think they're two because i've never seen two either Yeah. They certainly are two. It looks like one big one. Yeah, it's one big worm. In that case, is one long, massive worm. Yeah, it's, it's a huge worm. Impossibly long. It's been it's been here for Impossibly almost uh, one almost two weeks, well, right? I want to see if I can see two tails. It look like two worms. I think they are two worms. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Now these worms. This is this is called a Cetaria digitata, and this worm is usually present inside the peritoneal cavity, in the stomach, in the uh, in the abdominal cavity. Uh, but there, uh, when they release their, I mean, that's all. Filaria. 
uh, or the larvae they travel to the skin and uh, then mosquitoes pick them up okay when when the mosquitoes are feeding mosquitoes pick them up and then they inject them in the other horse so sometimes some ideally those injected larvae are also supposed to end up in the in the uh, in the abdomen but sometimes they can migrate to the eye or in the brain uh, um, i mean that's a, it's called as aberrant migration so sometimes they just end up there so this is a very rare uh, uh, case where they actually end up in the eye not so rare in india uh, yeah. we see quite a few of them in this country yeah uh, much more rare anywhere else is that's true that's true they've never in seen them in uh, yeah. i mean hardly ever seen them in yeah. europe and we see quite country. a few of these mm. we see aberrant mi migration in the spine also yeah so what happens when they uh, reach they the get spine? very uh, they get incoordinated it's like a wobbler syndrome so mm -hmm. they get in, get incoordinated can't get up um, and um, but we managed to save quite a few of those horses how, how do you area. save them though um, we use dietyl carbamazine and it seems to 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 sort that one because it kills the the worm the but what worm, about all that reaction the inflammatory reaction i uh, we have had only a few mm. uh, over the years but we had a few quite a few successes with it okay of course we don't have a definitive diagnosis mm. too we don't know it is cetaria because we don't ever do a post mortem on on uh, maybe we should horse. yeah uh, but we find that the timing of eye worm uh, mm. appearances okay. and and these things seem to coincide okay so there's a there's a thought that since we are seeing eye worms in that season mm. and we also see neurological cases oh, in that season okay. so we are putting two and two together and saying that this is also probably cetarial lab, uh, larval migration okay it's interesting and in this case uh, the worm has been in the eye for almost two weeks so the problem with these worms is them being present inside the eye they keep causing a lot of damage to the eye so this eye has uh, has quite a significant damage already the sooner you operate the better uh, in these cases the specific damage that happens is in the endothelium endothelium of the cornea but the most the worst damage is to the uvea which is basically internal uh, you know the the vascular, the vascular structure system. and uh, when the uvea gets damaged it basically brings in so much fibrin and so much uh, inflammatory material that it kind of destroys everything inside so this this horse doesn't have a dazzle reflex uh, i don't see a a good pupil so i can see a fibrin layer inside we'll start treating him for uveitis but the chances of recovery of vision are 50 quite meek Yes, sir. Mm, it doesn't have dazzle. Okay. So probably there is already some retinal detachment that has happened, because when the uvea gets affected, the front uvea gets affected, the, the back, back also, also gets so affected, yeah, so. and that can. So the choroid also is uh, mm. is inflamed. So I'm just cleaning this horse's eye with diluted betadine solution. more than more than more than usual movement custody yeah i know he never move mala for sab de why is he moving so much i have no idea Uh, because to of too much money. eyeball mo motion which we normally don't get with this after uh, uh, all that we are still getting too much movement so it's safer to give a gentle anesthetic you want to go i want to try one more time no 
I just think that if she moves, you might lacerate the iris. No, I won't Allah. I mean, we'll try one more time. One, okay. one more time. Okay. okay. Should I hold the lower eyelid? Uh, yes. no. It's okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, God. Mm. You increase, increase the size of the incision? Yeah, a little bit. Super long one. Mm, never seen one this long. Mm. Really quite, quite, quite excessively long. Unbelievable. I think its head was something weird. Huh? Mm, so long, man. It's at the level of maturity. It's almost like Spirosaka. You should check it. Can't be. I don't think. But look at the size of that one. My God. Mm. Sitaria. Only. Look at that. It's so, so long. Mm. Yeah. This is a world record Sitaria worm. <laughs> It's almost three Part inches long. It's good you were here, Kasturi. Mm. <laughs> yeah. This would have been a nightmare with a simple stamp. Yeah, it would have been. See how, how just, it just popped out. Yeah. Yeah. It's wonderful. Excellent. Mm. I, think, I think it was a very unique case. Um, most yeah. interesting because of the size of the worm for one thing. The constant movement of the eyeball was, mm. uh, was an additional uh, challenge, mm. which was very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, it's one of the rare occasions where we had to use a retro bulb block, mm. and it seemed to work. Although the the third eyelid continued to move, which was yeah. irritating. But I seem to I've I've encountered this before, mm. especially mm. in Marwadi horses, yeah. because they they just no matter how much you sedate them, they're just mm. always so jumpy. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. I think that worm popped out pretty nicely. Yeah, it popped out beautifully. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those really exciting to get, get one of these yeah. guys out. Every time you get it out, you say, yes! <laughs> Sometimes it's just the mucus and you say, oh God, yeah. that's mucus. No, that's mucus. <laughs> oh, the worm is still there. But you got it. Yep. You got it. Awesome. Good job. <laughs>